Yo guys, what is up? It is Ryan Sneaks, and today I have a Grail unboxing. Not really an unboxing, but I'm going to be unboxing it for you guys from the packaging, which is a pretty cool experience. Now, if you guys have been following along on any of the stuff I've been talking about lately on social media, uh, here on YouTube, you kind of know what I'm going with. I've been saving since I missed out on the hyper adapts when they sent the reserve codes out and I didn't get anything. I had multiple people in my family sign up for me and we still didn't get anything. Uh, so I had to resort to resale, which I actually found someone locally that did a pretty good deal with me. Uh, lower than anything else I could find. And my birthday's in a couple weeks, so I figured, you know, uh, might as well treat myself to something that I've been wanting. So what happened, I picked up the Nike Hyper Adapt 1.0. Now just for reference, this box is huge. It takes up pretty much the whole frame. Just a ridiculous, awesome package. There's a size tag on it right there. I got a size 12. Uh, I heard that these fit pretty snug, so I went ahead and got a size 12, plus it has that lacing system, so if it is a little big, it can also just fit to my foot. Now I've actually already worn these. I wore them to my cousin's basketball game today, and uh, they're actually very comfortable. I was not thinking they'd be comfortable with that whole motor thing on the bottom, but you don't even feel it. But that's enough from this angle. I'm gonna take you to another one so we can actually unbox these. So yeah, to give these a proper unboxing, I'm gonna hit it from this angle right now. And as you can see, it says Hyper Adapt just on the white covering right here. You lift up the top part right there, which is that white one, and you get the blue box, which is right here. And it says the same exact thing, Hyper Adapt 1.0. Now the box itself is crazy on its own. As you see, you have that top layer to it, then you get this silver lining right through the blue. Now when you lift up the top right here, you're gonna see the crazy outsole pattern from the shoe all throughout the top of the box. And once you throw that to the side, you get the shoes themselves. Now the first thing I did when I got it is I looked at this little card that says Hyper Adapt 1.0. Uh, when you flip it around, it says the future isn't tomorrow, it's today with a little hotline number on it. And right under that, you get your plug. Pretty simple, just your normal wall adapter. And then right here, you get your charging pucks, which are what you use to charge the actual shoes. Now, although I actually already wore these, I put them back in the plastic bags just for the unboxing experience. But here is the shoe themselves. Whenever you take the shoe out of the bag, you get a live look at it right here. And you know, I really wish I would have got these for retail. There's no lie in that. Uh, but you know even paying the re the resale on them. Uh, I have no regrets This is something I really really wanted to have to be able to say I owned one of the first generation hyper adapts If Nike continue on with it uh, if they don't continue on with it Then you know I have a one-time shoe thing that they had if they don't continue on with it Then you know it's kind of a novelty that you actually got to own a piece of it uh, But you know I do think it's gonna I think it is gonna pick up and I think they are gonna continue to do more like this But enough of this angle. Let's go ahead and head back to the regular one now The thing I have not tried yet is actually charging these so I don't know how it's gonna work uh, I heard it takes about three hours to charge them something around that time and I also know that they said it takes about two weeks for them to run out of a charge but I think charging them would actually be a pretty cool thing to do I mean you can tell people oh I'm charging my shoes or something like that but I did also hear that you can only use this wall adapter with it because it's set up to a certain voltage and uh, if you use anything else it may disrupt I guess the motor but all packaged very nicely and nothing feels cheap so that's a good thing and now you get into the shoes which they actually individually wrap in plastic which is a little bit weird uh, but like I said I've already worn these so I've already taken the plastic off I just put them on for the video and I mean looking at the shoes a lot of people are hating on them and saying you know they look just like um, Air Monarch or something like that which I can see I mean it's just like a Nike runner a normal runner uh, nothing too special where it gets special is when you get to the bottom where you see the motor which is the MT squared which stands for Matt Parker Tinker Hatfield and Tiffany Beers the creators of the shoe supposedly the process on creating these took a very very long time and took everything like a while just to get going but with all the time they got it mastered and as you see it has a motor on the other shoe as well and uh, here on the insole if you can see that it says Earl and even on the tongue right here you get a shot of Earl and Earl is short for electro adaptive reactive lacing and like I said in my unboxing of it from the other view like I know I did not pay retail for these and I wish I could have I wish there was an opportunity here in Texas to do it I did try for the San Francisco one I was just gonna drive up there and get them uh, and I wasn't able to get them at all so I had to pay resale which kind of sucks uh, but I want to be a part of something like this where it's Nike's first and I mean it's just something so special and cool to me. I've been a super fan of Nike for as long as I can remember. I used to only wear Nike shoes uh, and being able to own something like this is awesome. But yeah let's get into what everybody really cares about and that is the lacing system. So when paying close attention to the shoe uh, you can kind of see like these laces aren't actually laces. There's wire inside of it and then you also get these two buttons here on the side. Now this one right here stands for loosening and this one's for tightening. 
Uh, of course, if I push it right now, it's not going to do anything. It's just going to light up because I already have them laced as loose as possible. But whenever you touch the one to tighten it, it'll automatically start going. Even the back of the shoe will start to light up to let you know where you're at battery wise. Here's an up close shot of it actually tightening itself. As you can see, it can get pretty tight. It like really, really went in. And then all you have to do is hit the loosen button and it will start to loosen up for you. So yeah, it's pretty cool technology that's going into this shoe. Being able to loosen and tighten with just the push in a button is pretty crazy in my opinion. And also you can see all the details of the shoe right here where you get the green on the bottom, uh, the swoosh that is actually inside of all the checkers, and then your two buttons on top. And then here on the lateral side, it's the exact same thing, just without the two buttons. And yeah, so overall with the shoes, they're not as heavy as I thought they would be. I thought they were gonna be super heavy with that little motor in the bottom, uh, but it's actually, I wanna say, a little bit lighter than maybe an Air Max. Air Max probably holds a little bit more weight to them. Definitely heavier than a Flyknit, uh, and probably about the same range as an Ultra Boost. And wearing them for the couple hours I did at my cousin's game, I would say they're pretty comfortable. I didn't have any problems with that. Uh, whenever you step your foot in, it automatically laces for yourself. And there's a way to preset that, but I haven't read on the manual yet. Uh, it was kind of tight, so I had to loosen it up a little bit, and then once I got my perfect fit, it just felt normal. Getting these shoes isn't going to feel like uh, you're wearing clouds on your feet or anything like that. It's not super comfortable. It's comfortable enough, but it's not something that you would pay a whole lot for for comfort. It's something more for the technology and just to know that, you know, you have something that's one of Nike's first. And another cool thing that I just noticed is actually, like, all the green, blue, and white of the check. Uh, is actually stitched in so it's embroidered in there it's not painted so it's not going to chip which i in my opinion i was kind of like uh not too happy with that thinking that it would chip away eventually but it's actually stitched in now what i think really helps the shoe to protect itself from the motor and you feeling that is how thick this insole is so as you can see it's that blue lagoon color it's a really nice blue and then the insole is super super thick right there which like i said i think helps with the motor you don't feel it and uh, the toe area is pretty much normal, it's not too thick. And then on the bottom you get all your special, I guess, codes and quality stuff on it. And then when you actually look inside, you can pick up the flap and see the motor right there. Yeah, overall, I'm super excited I was able to pick these up. Uh, I, like I said again, and I'll say it a million times, I really wish I could have got these for retail. I'm a huge supporter of Nike and all the stuff that they do. And I, I mean, it would have just been awesome to get that opportunity. Even if it wasn't through uh, the appointment where you have to go meet them and stuff, if it could have just been the code and I could have got them, it would have just been so much better. But you know, for me being a fan of Nike, I had to get these. I want to get the silver ones as well. Uh, just, I don't see myself paying another two grand just to get another pair. And it would have been awesome to get the white ones, but friends and family is, it's not going to happen. So yeah, hopefully Nike can see this soon and kind of understand that there's other people out there that want to pick these shoes up and to find a different way to put these out. Uh, because... The appointments in only certain locations and the invitation only by random, I guess it was random. Uh, it it kind of sucks for the people that want them because I had to buy them off a reseller. Uh, pretty much everyone that got these was just getting them to resell. But like I've said, I'm super grateful just for the opportunity to purchase these. So uh, being able to get them, even though I paid a lot over retail, is still great. But Nike, if you're watching this somehow, uh, if you want to get me a silver or a white, I will gladly play retail for both of those. I know a lot of people were upset with the $700 price point or the $720, whatever it was. Uh, but I was fully prepared to pay a grand for each one. So $2,000 was not too much of a reach. I sold both my V2s. I sold two Yeezys to pick up these Nikes. So Nike, if you're watching this, that goes to say something. I sold both my V2s, my Belugas, and my Copper Pair just so I could purchase these. And I still had to come up with another $1,000. So it's not that I'm saying I love Nike more than Adidas or I love Adidas more than Nike. I like them both the same, uh, but when something like this comes along or even like the future craft from Adidas, you, you kind of have to put things in perspective and say like, uh, what would you rather have in the long run? To me, these were something that I needed to have. Uh, Yeezys, they come and go. There's gonna be a ton coming. And V2s, they just, they don't have the same like meaning to me as the V1s. So these, it, it was like pretty clear in my head that I was going to sell those two to get these. But that is it for this video. Don't forget to hit that like, comment, and subscribe button. And what I'm going to do right now is throw these on and show you what it's like to put these on first and kind of see what it looks like when you slip your foot in and it starts to auto lace for you. It's something I recommend any sneakerhead tries. If they know someone with a pair to try it on, they can purchase a pair to do it. I mean, it's just something crazy. But that is it, guys. Here's your on foot.